Right, so before we get to the base, let me point out that I haven't played too much Rust in the past year, and if you want to put out any criticism or have ideas or so anything that you'd like to have improved, then please do so. So let's in the comments down below or with the thumbs that YouTube's given you. I'll be happy to hear from you. That being said, let's get to the base. So you can basically build this front area however you want to. I just did two doors for a quick airlock and some security on going deep. Then two drop off box and a ladder downwards. This ladder can be replaced with just about anything. Furnaces work, small boxes do. All that comes to your mind. Then getting to the inside, you got 12 large boxes around, space for even up to 20 if you place some more floors down and remove the workbench, then 9 small boxes, 3 of them being above the unloadable TC, where I recommend putting your main loot, you know, like sulfur and so on, since this is especially if you upgrade the base the hardest spot to get to. Then obviously you're gonna want to have it back somewhere in the space, I recommend just removing some of the boxes around and putting down the bags for you and your friends but it's not necessary since you can also log off in here. Then the TC and the three boxes are going to be sealed off by embrasures and reinforced windows and the bunker itself is going to be closed off with a triangle floor that you can, which is a huge profit of the space, a good point, seal off from the inside. So if you're getting raided you can do everything from the inside, you won't have to kill yourself and respawn, no loss of time like that. This space is also a perfect choice if you won't be able to play for a certain while with an upkeep of almost 13 days with a full TC made up of 13k stone, 7k metal fragments, 100 high coal and 1k wood. You'll be able to go offline without worrying about it, without losing sleep over it. Now since many of you are probably worried about whether it's hard or not to build the space with the different foundation heights and so on, the only thing you really have to find is an incline, which, I mean, it's easier to find an incline than to fly in flat heavy rust, so. Once you've done that, basically all you have to do is grab a square foundation, look downhill, and make sure that both the edges of it and the middle part are slightly touching the ground. Once you've done that, put down the foundation, put down triangles next to it, and onto those triangles at the top you can add a starter base as well. It doesn't matter what size, you can put anything there. Just make sure that you've got the walls on stone, not sheet metal, since you're going to have to pick one out later to get access to the base. Then once you've got that done, you get your furnaces cooking, you go farming, and within 20 minutes you should have enough resources to pull up the bunker base at the back. Then you just pull that up, do wall by wall, and so on. Once you're done with that, get yourself some spears, pickaxes, and destroy the stone wall. You need 7k wood for 23 spears in order to destroy the wall. And you'll be able to use either fire, shotgun shells, swords, anything to destroy the TC. Once you're done with that, slap another TC down, and you're good to go. Now let's get to the building of the actual base. Once again, put down your square foundation, put down your triangles, then you'll be able to put down your square foundations for the loot rooms, and that's the whole group. Once you're done with this inner core, slap down your TC and you're good to go for the night. If you want to upgrade it further though, which I recommend, if you want to have proper protection of this space, then go for stone honeycombing or if you have the resources, sheet metal honeycombing around the outside. Once again, put down your entrance, upgrade all. So since you're going to want to have your TC be more protected than the rest of your base, Everything else will go to stone tier of the honeycombing and just the TC will be layered with another layer of sheet metal honeycombing to make it 8C4 to get to that from no matter where they come from as well. Then if you wanna 
upgrade the space even more I'd recommend doing all the honeycombing out of sheet metal, adding another layer of stone honeycombing onto the back of the TC and upgrading the TC itself to armor. That will grant you a total of at least 16 C4 or 32 rockets no matter where the raiders come from which makes the space a really really strong stash for your loop if you want to go for a certain while or just want to survive a night. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate it. If you liked, share it or subscribe. And uh, have a good one. See you in the next one.